Let's take a look at how we would use the Data Assembly web app to identify competitive price changes quickly and efficiently. Uh, so here we are in the Data Assembly web app. We're on our products page where we can look at lists of products by categories or group. I happen to be looking at eggs and dairy, and I can see some pretty quick information here for any of the products in this group, including which ones I've favorited and kind of what that price movement was. Uh, I'm looking at two weeks worth of data so I can see what that latest movement is. And if we take a look at this Lando Lakes half a sticker butter, you can see I've starred that one. And if you look all the way over to the right, you can see a trend line for those price changes again over this two week time period, telling me that there's probably been some movement on this uh, in this example at Walmart. If I click into this one, what we're going to be able to see is the current state. So the most recent week, every dot on this map is an individual store color represents price point. If we wanted to dive into what that competitive movement was during that week time frame, I can back my calendar up here. Now we're looking at the week of August 20th and we see a whole lot more dots that are at that 498 price point. And then as we let this play, we can see where that competitive movement happened. Right. So we see that the majority of the country has moved up to a higher price point. Uh, some pockets in California moved up as well as Chicago and a few other areas, indicating a, a larger move for this product. So you're very easily to figure out when did the competitor move at what retailers by how much and where all of that informing your decisions on, you know, what are you doing with your prices? Is this justification for your increase and ultimately getting those passed along more quickly? The other thing that we can do with this one outside of that products page is adding an alert. If we know we want to keep an eye on this one and watch that trend, I can add an alert and say, show me when the price of this increases, decreases, or just changes by some set amount at some percentage of stores at a given retailer or even in a given metro area. Uh, so if something pops in Nashville at Walmart and you want to know of that, these alerts will fire on Sunday night as we have the previous data's um, previous week's data is available to you. And again, you can act much, much more quickly versus a syndicated data set uh, or even sharing this as you might not be able to do with some of your existing sources. So it's really easy to keep an eye on those competitive moves and use them to arm your decision making.